Hi everyone, greetings from me and I bring to everyone of my glad tidings. Today's tutorial we will learn the application of GIS to analyze stream order and the calculate stream drainage density. Now I am going to the show of steps of analysis stream order and calculate stream drainage density. The process outlet in these steps for delineating watershed in ESRI ArcGIS Desktop 10.8 software. Okay. Now I am opening the GIS interface 10.8 from ArcGIS folder. I am using here 10.8. then go to catalog menu and connect to folder stream order folder where i am keeping the dm of stream order this is the dm of stream order now i am inserting this srtm digital elevation model dm here I am changing the color RAM now I have to check which coordinate system is available in this DM go to layer and properties then go to coordinate system and I have been seen that this is WGS 1984 coordinate system though this initial coordinate system was in GSS position and it has needed to convert from geographic coordinate system to positive coordinate system for the future calculation of strip length and basin area now I am going to convert this position system from this is to universal transverse marketer system go to catalog menu then click toolbox then system toolboxes then data management tools then projections and transformations after that click the plus sign of raster here then project raster then input raster here see that here existing coordinate is GCS WGS 1984. Now I am convert this coordinate from 1984 to universal test marketer. So this is the output coordinate system. Now I am choosing here the coordinate system. Positive coordinate system, then UTM, then WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere. Then WGS1984 ETM zone 46. Okay. Now I am changing the destination of the folder where I have keep the converted DM. DEM. 
project date save and click ok position has been completed over here we can see that here this is the decimal degree but here we have to need showing the meter or kilometer now I am remove the remove all existing PPS DM from here and connect again this is the positive DM at I'm changing the color ram from here now here we have seen that this is in meters and we can check from the layer properties see that this DM has already been converted from GCS WGS 1984 to WGS 1984 UTM zone 46 Now we are going to catalog menu, then special analysis tools, then click hydrology, then click fill, input raster surface here, DM projected. And save as field DM of your desired folder and click OK. Field process is ongoing. Field has done over here. Now Click flow direction, input surface raster, field DM, then flow direction, save it in your desired folder as a flow direction, then click OK. Flow direction is ongoing here. Production has completed over here. Now go to catalog menu and click flow accumulation tools. Input input flotation raster. This is the flotation. Save as a flow accumulation on your desired folder. Flow accumulation on it. Save. Then OK. Flow accumulation has completed. Now run the basin tool to create a raster delineating all drainage basin input flow direction raster here flow direction raster here then save on your desired folder as a basin flow direction now I am keeping here only as a basin save and ok Basin has been created here. This is the basin DM. Now I am changing the color RAM. Now 
now go to catalog menu then go to conversion tools then go to from raster then raster to polygon run the raster to polygon tool to create polygon fusion from the basin raster input raster here you have to choose basin then go to your desired folder to save this raster basin raster basin as a future classes save okay raster to polygon has been completed over here a lot of water shed basin has created over here this is the basin area all our basin area now we can choose one basin area for analyzing the steam order and steam density now i am choosing this area for order sheet go to the processing then clip input fusor raster basin clip fusor raster basin then save as a basin clip save okay okay this is the basin cliff this is my study area now i am extract the desirable part of flow accumulation raster data which has already been created from srtm digital revision model according to my watershed area of vector or shape file now go to catalog menu then go to special analysis tools after that go to extraction then extract by mask input raster flow accumulation then input raster or fusor max data basin clip then save as on your desired folder as a flow accumulation mask save okay no equation marks created over here change the color ram okay
then go to catalog menu then again go to special analysis tools this is the special analysis tool then run map algebra map algebra then raster calculator okay, follow your permission marks get a 10 minimum value 1500 output as a raster calculator star can save ok ok raster calculator has been completed over here now I am changing the properties of raster calculator no color and this is the stream order apply it ok now run the stream order to to assign a numeric order to segment of a raster representing passes of a linear network click stream order input stream raster input flow direction then save as a strip line on your desired folder stream order save and here I am choosing here styler why I am choosing here styler method because of styler method is commonly used in everywhere in ArcMap there are two common methods used for assigning stream order one is straheller and other is sheriff now i am giving the basic idea of straheller straheller stream order is a modification of horton streams order which fixes the ambiguity of horton's ordering in straheller ordering the main channel is not determined instead the ordering is based on the hierarchy of branches the ordering follows these rules is if the node has no children is the straheller order is one if the node has one and only one tributary with the straheller greatest order i and all other tributes have order less than i then the order remains i if the node has two or more tributaries with the greatest order i then the straheller order of the node is one plus one okay now i'm click okay steam order has completed over here here we have seen that steam order assign a numeric order to segments of a raster representing the branches of a linear network one two three four and five now i am run the steam future tool to convert a raster representing a linear network to future representing the linear network go to catalog menu then stream to future input stream raster here this is the stream order input flow direction here this is the flow direction and save on my desired folder as a stream network save okay stream to future has been completed over here now i am check from open activity table this is grid code see that stream order 1 2 3 4 and 5 Okay, now I am going to the properties of stream network. 
properties then symbology then categories click the code add all fellows now classify the stream order from smallest to largest as per the classification and have shown in different color here we have seen that the different git codes starting from 1 to 5 the higher code means the river line is going to be stream with a higher order that's mean git code is higher order than the code is 5 3 2 1 now i am changing the width of line or three two point five See that steam order from the smallest to larger as per the classification and have shown in different color here. Now I am giving the label of all the steam order. Go to properties, then labels, grid code. Check the label fusion in this layer, apply and OK. This is stream order 1. Okay, this is 2. Who is and this is 3. Stream order and uh, this is 4, which has uh, connect with stream order 5. Now run the line density tool to calculate a magnitude per unit area from polylike feature that fall within the radius around each cell. Go to catalog menu, then special analysis tools, then density, then click line density, then input polyline features, stem network. Population field, grid code, save output raster as a density line to your desired folder. Then output cell size will be your posited DEM original dm this is which has been posited from gcs the 1984 to utm at i am keeping here a square kilometers for calculating the drainage density click environments then go to raster analysis cells as Provide as a minimum of inputs. Then this is okay. Convert units and marks. I have been selected here as a. Basin clip then click OK. Process is ongoing. Okay. Density line has been 
created over here now I'm going to density line properties go to symbology and give the classes of 5 and change the color M from here this is the I am choosing this color M okay now I am choosing this color M apply okay now I have to find out the total stream network length and basin area for cal calculating the density of a drainage system we know that uh, drainage density is equal to summation of stream network length divided by watershed or basin area now go to stream network future open a table and add a field here give the name here as a length in meter type float and position 10 then ok right click calculate geometry length kilometer ok yes So I am happy to change the NES though I am calculate was a kilometer. Yes. That is change the name as a watershed area go to open activity table add a field here area train Okay, right click, calculate geometry, yes, a square kilometer, okay, this is the total square kilometer of my watershed area or basin area, now I am going to the activity table of stream network, right click here, statistics, and copy total stream length in kilometer copy and go back to the activity table of watershed area open activity table add a new field as a stream density Plot. Okay. Okay. Right click on stream density field, field calculator. Then paste the value of stream network, total, total length of stream network divided by the area of watershed. And click OK. This is the result of stream density 0.753758. Now we have to know the interpretation of drainage density. If the drainage density is lower than 2, then it will be lowest density, and if the drainage density is 
2 to 4 then it will be moderate density and if the density is 4 to 6 then it will be high density and the if, density, if the density is greater than 6 it will be very high density okay from our analysis the result of the drainage density is lower than 2 therefore a low density of channel has existed on my network and it is leads to a coarse drainage structure it indicates a permeable basin with a high infiltration rates and high amount groundwater potential the low drainage density is likely to result in the area of highly resistant permeable subsoil material under dense vegetation and low relief thanks to watching my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel